Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Adam the Smartphone Guy here to talk about a question that a lot of you have been asking me, and that is how do I get Android Wear apps onto the TicWatch 2? Um, so I will say this, that it's possible, and uh, I want to thank, first of all, I need to give a huge shout out to this guy right here. Hold on, let me bring him up on my phone. Um, so Justin, here he is, Justin Panito. I think that's how you say his name, hopefully. Um, he is a huge reason why I figured this out. So he just started a YouTube channel recently, um, and he's the one that actually uh, helped me out with this. So a huge shout out to him. And then also, I do want to mention before I get into my video, um, I did want to mention there is another YouTuber. I'm going to bring him up right here uh, that has a video, Jason G Photography. And uh, he has a video where he goes through a couple other ways to install apps uh, that involve a little bit more work than what I'm going to show you. So what I'm going to show you is a pretty simple way, but there's a huge caveat, and that is that there's a lot of apps that won't work. So this is going to be a video about how to get Android Wear apps onto the TicWatch 2, and they do work, um, but there's a limited number of apps that do work. So I'll show you that in just a second. So first of all, let me just go down here and... Those of you that have the Tick Watch 2, you know that these are apps that do not come with it and there's no way to get them on there without either sideloading them or doing what I show you here. So um, let's go ahead and show how that is done. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the Tick Tickware Global app. Okay, so this is the app and you're gonna come up here into the menu and hopefully I can hit it. All right, and then you're gonna go down here and click on your version number. So I have, I'm running version 4.5, which is the newest version, and you're gonna enter developer mode. You can also enter developer mode through the watch as well, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it through here. So you just hit confirm, and then from there, pretty simple, all you gotta do is sync apps. So, oh, sorry, I skipped a step, let's go back. So you're gonna enter developer mode, just like I showed you, and then you're gonna go into advanced settings. Sorry, I skipped this step. And uh, you need to come up here into this piece right here that says 1024. And you can already see that I have it turned on. So it says turn on 1024 will allow you to sync apps from the phone to the tick watch. So I already have mine turned on. So you're gonna have to turn that on first and then you go in and you hit that option for sync apps. So there's three steps. So you go in there, go to developer mode, uh, go into that 1024, enable the syncing of apps, and then you sync apps. So those are the three things you're gonna do. Now, I have a crap ton of apps on here, and many of them you'll probably notice are, uh, would be normal apps that would work with, um, with Android Wear. So for instance, we have uh, Hangouts. Google Hangouts would normally uh, be an app that you can get on Android Wear, Google Fit. Uh, let's see here, what else do we have in here that works definitely? Uh, Pandora, um, so plenty of, anyways, there's plenty of apps. PayPal would be one that would work. Um, but there's plenty of apps that work on Android Wear that you don't see showing up on my watch, and that's because they're not compatible, um, and so they just don't work. Um, so let me talk about how do you know if they're going to work, um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, uh, you can see the apps that I have on here that are technically were able to sync. And so we have uh, one that's like Flappy Birds called, what is it called, Birdie Wear. Uh, we have a game called Invaders, uh, Run Keeper, Solitaire, and Spotify. So one thing I want to point out though is that the two that you would want to work probably don't actually work. So Run Keeper and Spotify don't actually work. So if I go into Run Keeper, um, basically what you're going to see is this, but it will never connect to GPS. And if I go here and hit play, it's going to ask, do I want to run without the phone or with the phone? So I'll go run without the phone, obviously. That's the reason why you want this. And it will never connect to GPS. So I let it run forever, and it never connected, even though it connected almost instantly uh, through the, the native app on here. So RunKeeper, even though it you know appears to work, doesn't actually work. Spotify, same thing. You're going to go in here, connection failed. I have my Wi-Fi turned on, anything else, and it's it's just not going to work. Um, so even though they show up, they don't work. So notice that the only three things that work on here are games, and that's because games don't require any connection at all to your phone. So any app that requires a connection directly to your phone, other than the ones that are already on there, um, will not work. And so like RunKeeper requires like data to be uh, sent from the watch to the phone, it won't work. Same thing with Spotify, it just, it, none of those work. Um, 
but the games are working because they can base they're basically standalone apps um, that can work directly on uh, the Android Wear watch. So this is of course not an Android Wear watch, but it's a tick watch. So just so you can see that it does work. Here's a little Flappy Bird game. Embarrass myself. All right, so there you go. So it does work. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to show you how that works. Um, some other things that I have found that work are also watch faces. So there are plenty of watch faces available on the Android Wear uh, in the Play Store, and those will work. Um, so I had a Plants vs. Zombies watch face that I, I had earlier uh, working on here, and it goes directly to your watch faces. So when you actually download it, um, it will go into your watch face option. So I actually restarted mine. Um, so that's why it's not going to show up on here. Um, but anyways, that's so it, I can confirm, though, that many watch faces will actually work, though. So that is nice. So if you want to get some Android Wear watch, uh, Android Wear watch faces on your Tick Watch 2, uh, that is an option as well. So anyways, I hope this has been helpful for you. Again, also check out um, that other YouTube user, Jason G Photography, because he has some more complicated ways to get apps that work um, between your phone and uh, the Tick Watch 2. Um, so check that out. Um, it's pretty complicated using ADB. He says it's not complicated, but it, it's also not easy. It's not as simple as you know what I just showed you. Um, but then also the Chinese Mob Voice Store um, that you can get on here, uh, they have a lot more apps, and so uh, he recommends trying that out as well. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful for somebody. I know there's kind of a limited amount of functionality that you can get, and there's limited apps that you can get onto the watch, but it's better than nothing. So anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys and I will see you all next video. Peace.